The Knowledge Chest. Come and learn together. Hi and welcome to NVDA lesson number 18. You can find this NVDA training almost done. And today I want to talk about the ribbon. Yes, I know that I have mentioned the ribbon in lessons that has gone by. But today I would like to speak about the ribbon and object navigation. Now I understand that Alt usually moves to the ribbon in WordPad and then you can use Control plus Tab to move in between the sections and Tab to the various um, buttons and various objects in a WordPad in the ribbon. But I really think that using the um, object navigation can definitely benefit in understanding the ribbon better. So I'm going to open a WordPad. Start window. Search window. W. WordPad. Document. WordPad. Rich text window multi-line blank. Okay, so as you know that the focus starts in the rich text edit window. Ready to type. So I'm going to press NVDA numpad 4 and because I have a laptop, it will be NVDA shift left, uh, left arrow to move to the previous object. So let's do that now. 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So now I'm going to move back through all the objects in this section until NVDA says ribbon property page. Unknown. Unknown. Status bar. Ribbon property page. Now I'm going to press NVDA numpad 2 or with a laptop NVDA shift and down arrow to enter this container to move to the first object inside it. Quick access toolbar, quick access. So now we're going to use the next and the previous object navigation keys just to explore the objects inside the ribbon property page. No previous. Customize quick access. File tab drop down button grid sub menu alt. A ribbon tabs tab control ribbon tabs list. Minimize the ribbon alt. Help alt. Y. Home property page alt. H. No next. I want you to note that NVDA says the hotkey. So now I'm going to locate the home property page. So I'll move back, control, shift, and left arrow. Help out. Minimize. Ribbon. File tab. Customize. Quick access. No previous. Customize. Quick access. File tab. Drop down button. Grid sub menu. Alt. F. Ribbon tabs. Tab control. Ribbon tabs list. Minimize the ribbon. Alt. Y. Help out. Y. Home property page. Alt. H. Okay, there it goes. So now I am going to press NVDA numpad 2 or NVDA shift and down arrow to move to the object inside this container. Clipboard grouping group alt H Z1. So now I'm going to use object navigation keys to explore the toolbars that's available. So, let's just recap here. So, we have gone to, you know, with the review cursor, we have gone to the ribbon property page. I'll just do that again. Three, unknown, step, ribbon property page. And I've gone into it, which I will do again. Quick access tool. I went to the home tab. Minimum, help, 
home property page alt a or, or to the home property page I clipboard went, i went into it okay so 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 now i'm going to move around font grouping group alt a until i get to the font group which i have done with control and shift and right arrow or left or numpad um uh, NVDA number six, uh, if, you, if you have a desktop. So I'm going to move into that container. Font family calibre. As you can hear, let's let's just move around. Font size 11 alt. A. Font family calibre alt. A. Font size. Grow font alt. Shrink font alt. Bold alt. Italic alt. H. I. Bold alt. H. B. I moved around with control, shift, left, control, shift, right arrow in this group i'm going to go out of the container by using control shift up arrow font grouping group alt h and i'm going to move to the right paragraph grouping group alt font grouping group alt. that's not where i wish to be so let's just go out of that uh, container home property page okay i'm going to locate the the tab list out of the tab list here no next help out minimize ribbon tabs tab control ribbon tabs list okay that's where i want to be and i have done that by using um, uh, nvda shift and left arrow okay because it is part of the ribbons list and the tabs list so i'm going to go into that container home selected alt h and that is the the home um section i'm going to move with NVDA shift and right arrow. View out, V. To the view um, section. So I'm gonna just show you how to, that you can actually then activate and change things um, by using object navigation. So I'm in the view um, section and no objects inside. There is no object inside. Why? Because I haven't gone into it. So pressing Shift and NVIDIA and down arrow will do nothing there. So let me just make sure. Home view out V. I'm on the view um, section. I'm going to press NVIDIA and enter. Switch. And now the view is um, it's activated. No uh, ribbon tabs tab control ribbon tabs list. Minimize the ribbon app. ribbon tabs tab help out view help view property page alt v. And if I move to the right, then I will find the view property page. No next help out view property page alt v. Zoom grouping group alt v z one. Now when I go in there then I can go and set the zoom level. Show or hide grouping group alt V Z2. Settings grouping group alt V Z3. So what have I done here? I actually used object navigation and I found the view tab and I activated it by doing an NVDA enter or NVDA numpad um, enter. In that way, it is possible to actually change tabs and, and to, to work with a ribbon using object navigation when you know where the review cursor is and when you know that the ribbon has a hierarchical structure it is not difficult to understand and to actually then be able to manipulate the ribbon with object navigation.
The last thing I want to speak to you about quickly in this lesson is review modes. So navigating around objects in the ribbon, we have been using it with object review mode. Object navigation moves between objects and into and out of containers of objects. So the review cursor moves around the text in current object and can select copy text there. Now NVDA has a command to change review modes. And we will press NVDA numpad 7 or NVDA page up to change to the next available review mode. So what will so I'm gonna do an NVDA page up here. Screen review blank. And the NVDA page down. Object review scene one. So now you heard that there are two review modes, object and screen review. But the different review modes are document review and object review and screen review. So when reading web pages, NVDA automatically switches to document review mode. It's the mode that is generally used for reading web pages. So in this mode, you will press number nine or with a laptop, NVDA down arrow to read through a web page line by line. So document mode, it's only available in certain places. So object review, it's the review mode used throughout this section. On a web page, changing to this mode presents each element, like a heading, link, and form, field, etc., as its own object. You can press NVDA number 6, or if you have a laptop, NVDA shift a right arrow to move from one object to the next. Screen re review, in the other hand, allows you to review the screen as it appears visually within the current application. This can sometimes make it easier to get to information not otherwise accessible. This mode does not work in many modern applications. So it will be a good thing to practice this, I think just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to use the Windows uh, version dialog that we have looked at previously. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open the Winver dialog. Start window, search window, search box blank. W V R Winver, run command. Winver. Dialogue, OK. So now I've, <clears throat> I've opened the Winver dialogue. So now I'm going to press NVDA um, Control plus Home to move to the top line of text in this object, the OK on the OK button. So now I am there and I am going to press NVDA numpad 4 or NVDA um, shift left arrow to move back to the objects. OK focused. So let's just do that 
quickly. Org name. Username. Microsoft Software License. Okay. So I'm going to press NVDA number six or NVDA shift right arrow to move forward until NVDA reads the OK button again. All right, so I'll do that now. Username, org name, OK. And now I'm going to press NVDA page up to move to the next review mode. NVDA will announce screen review. OK. Sure, yeah. I am in the correct place. Org okay. That's correct. Screen review. Okay. That is exactly what it should be. So now I am going to press NVDA control and home to move to the top line. I've done so, NVDA control and home. NVDA will now read, let's see what it says. Blank, okay. No next review mode. Left, K. Let's just make sure about that. About Windows dialog. Graphic. No preview. Microsoft Windows. There goes. Microsoft Windows. Okay. So now I'm going to press um, Numpad Plus or NVDA Shift A to read all. NVDA will now and read the entire dialog out. Um, let's just see what happens. So I'm going to press. NVDA shift A. No. Microsoft Corporation. All rights reserved. The Windows 11 education operating system and its user interface are protected by trademark. Okay, I'm not going to read more. So there you heard that it actually read out the entire dialogue. So if I didn't want to do that, I could simply just move around. Microsoft Software License Terms 1 of 1. The Windows 11 Education Operating System and its user interface are protected by Tr Microsoft Corporation. All with, rights reserved. With NVDA shift and left and right arrow. Obster. So in that way, I was actually able to use screen review mode to read the information in this Windows version dialog, which the keyboard couldn't get to normally, and if I used object review and not screen review, then it would not also be as easy to get to that information. So using screen review actually presented it to me as the screen visually appears. That's all for this lesson. Thank you very much for joining me. Speak again. The Knowledge Chest. Come and learn together.